New efforts are underway to narrow the health disparities between underserved areas and those that are more affluent. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains the key step taken today as the Omicron variant was discovered in California. You know, the lower life expectancy, higher rates of asthma. Dr. Akila Weber grew up in the Southern San Diego County Assembly District she now represents in Sacramento. She wants the people who live there to enjoy long, healthy lives. So in order to improve health, you have to realize that the things around you um, are what is necessarily making you sick or making you not be sick. On Wednesday in La Mesa, Weber hosted the initial meeting of her select committee on the social determinants of health, which could spur future legislation, such as bills to increase access to healthier foods, open parks for exercise, transit options, or healthcare facilities. And so all of these things play into the health um, outcomes of families and individuals here in California. This is the edge of the 92114 zip code. It's one of the areas that Dr. Weber office identified as having some of the biggest disparities between places like La Jolla. The goal now to close that gap. For example, the Multicultural Health Foundation reports life expectancy in the 92114 zip code as 79 years, whereas La Jolla's 92037 was 85 years. Weber noted residents in underserved zip codes tend to have more pre-existing conditions, making them more susceptible to COVID. Unfortunately, with this new variant um, that is now in California, um, those very same communities still have to be very vigilant about um, getting vaccinations. Weber says that's on top of social distancing and mask wearing. John Horn, ABC 10 News. Weber said it is too early to talk about specific legislation from this. The committee's next meeting will be a couple of months in Sacramento.